I think going out from here, actually what we're looking at is that we're going to see a very outsized growth rebound in the second quarter. And this is really largely due to the low base last year due to the circuit breaker period. Um, we are looking for GDP growth to accelerate to as high as 15% year on year before it normalizes to more uh, reasonable levels in the second half of this year. I think if you look past this, um, generally we have had the MAS statement basically that they think that this year's full year growth could actually exceed the official growth forecast range of 4 to 6%. We are looking for at least a 6% uh, GDP print this year because we are looking to see that the vaccination progress both domestically and globally will actually aid the return of international travel and the reopening of a lot of borders. And global demand within conditions will continue to improve into the second half of this year. Right, so manufacturing did well, services lagged. Do you think that the consumption story will pick up in uh, I think the coming services quarters? Will, yeah, I think services will play catch up. We are expecting services uh, to revert to positive growth for the rest of the year. Um, albeit, you know, services has a very mixed recovery story because a lot of the hospitality-related type of uh, services still very much mired in the doldrums. Until we get the reopening of uh, borders and air travel, I suspect that domestic tourism uh, is not going to be able to completely fill the gap. But if you look at the bright side, um, some of the bright spots within services, Infocom's uh, financial services, for instance, is actually uh, doing very well. And that continues to probably ball the set services sector going forward. I think in terms of the labour market, uh, we do expect the improvement to continue. We have seen the unemployment rate stabilise in the last three months. And we think the overall and the resident unemployment rate will probably drop uh, below 3% and 4% respectively.